Outside of people telling me to use bows on my melee challenge run, the comment I receive the most is, how does your game look like that? What's with the damage numbers and timers on screen? Well, of course the answer is HUD mods. Generally, I've favoured one called Wolf Hood over the years, but have recently been taking a look at what Sydney HUD has to offer. However, I don't think that's a completely sufficient answer to the question. Thanks to the vibrant modding community Payday has cultivated over the years, there's a lot more to creating your perfect visual setup than meets the eye. In this video, I'm going to run you through every option at your disposal to craft your ideal in-heist look. To do this, we really need to understand what's on offer across the board. Another thing on offer that can change your Payday playing experience for the better is my range of gaming PCs, courtesy of the guys at Apex. As you know, after years of updates, we don't always get the frame rates we'd like to when playing Payday 2, but with this custom built series you'll receive pre-built rigs direct from Apex Gaming PCs, which are tailored to the somewhat unusual specs of Payday. Check out the range from the link in the description below. So let's start this video by taking a look at the hood options, which offer a purely aesthetic paint coat to your game and don't provide any additional information. First up, we have the Payday the Heist hood, one I've covered in a previous modding video that adds the distinct look of the first game to Payday 2. This is one of the best maintained cosmetic hoods out there. Core features include a classic and stylized equipment and ammo display, which is far less intrusive than vanilla, unique interaction bar icons, and Payday the Heist styled objective reminders, which make you feel like you're playing a game from a slightly different era. It also follows the Payday the Heist green and orange colour scheme, which is a nice departure from Payday's white and blue. Probably my favourite feature of this hood is the character display icons. Whilst it's not the clearest way to display the information, I love the Payday the Heist style of relaying armour and health loss, and the full colour teammate portraits are a great touch. You can even alter exactly how each character bust is displayed in the portrait options. As with most of the HUDs on display in this video, Payday the Heist HUD has a detailed options menu and allows you to turn key features on and off, as well as resize any HUD element. It doesn't, however, give you the ability to move HUD elements around, which is something that even more customizable HUDs do offer, so make sure you like the layout before installing. If you're here for Payday the Heist nostalgia, this is absolutely the HUD for you, with classic callbacks to old mechanics. But even if you've never played the first game, it's a sleek design which has been modernised for all of Payday 2's extended features. A seriously top tier HUD mod if you don't mind changing the way your game looks quite drastically. Hotline Miami HUD is another visual modifying HUD which has been featured on my mod showcases previously. This goes beyond just being an in-heist HUD modifier, editing the feel of the entire game to reflect that retro wave feel which is synonymous with the Hotline series. The bright neons and pixel text looks excellent, and this hood even comes with an array of extra quality of life enhancements in the menus, including black screen and loot drop card skips. When it comes to the HUD, customization is the name of the game here, with seriously extensive setting options. You have full control over the colour scheme of the HUD, as well as some additional features which see this mod as one that straddles the line between a visual redesign and total HUD overhaul. Of course these options can all be disabled if you want a vanilla feel with just the new luck, but keep an eye on the improved chat, combo counter and assault wave indicator add-ons. Also if you want to dip your toes into a HUD which offers a little more important information without having damage numbers and health bars all over your screen, this is a perfect option for you. Certain useful timers will be displayed and in particular having access to the ping and crew loadout information can help you plan the heist around exactly what your crew is doing even if you join in progress. I like that many of the more intrusive details, such as in-heist accuracy and kills, are hidden behind the tab screen, keeping things a little cleaner during the heist. The hotline theming fits far too well in Payday 2 to be overlooked, so this hood is definitely worth a try if the aesthetic appeals even slightly. Up next, we have a Restoration Hood, a heads-up display mod that comes bundled with the Restoration mod, intent on bringing back all that made Payday 2 great at launch and even earlier in its development. This hood uses some never-before-seen assets to craft a unique look to the game that existed in its earliest versions. This is probably the most basic of all HUDs I'll be showcasing today, moving predominantly sideways from the modern design of the game. That doesn't mean it's lacking features though, it comes with full hood colour and size customization, allowing you to craft your ideal look in a pretty intuitive way within the heist options. You can choose between alpha and even early pre-release designs for the game, some of which I'm surprised to see didn't make it into the finished product. This is the perfect mod for Payday 2 nostalgia that also enables you to get some insights into the original concepts Overkill had planned for the game. This is particularly noticeable on the Restoration Crime Net screen, where we see heists may have been located in different regions of DC, depending on the heat you'd have to expect. 
Additionally, there are other optional features such as Post Assault Music Shuffle, which would keep things fresh on those longer heists. Overall, it's a pretty slick hood, but definitely not my favourite aesthetic look for Payday 2. It's got a crazy amount of charm to it, and it's still a fresh feeling experience, but it does lack some of that functionality offered by other hood combinations. If you want more of that, consider using it alongside Poco Hood, an overhaul I'll be talking about later, which it's designed to be integrated with. Now then, I want to touch on a stylish and innovative hood with some amazingly unique features that sadly lacks the same level of customizability and polish we've seen so far. Hev Hood is an adaptation of the Half-Life 2 visual display which pulls off exactly what it's going for. The HUD is incredibly clean and quite playable without the need for complex setting options, but the addition of a functioning mob menu for this HUD would be a game changer. The Half-Life style of Crosshair, however, is brilliant. On the left we see the state of our health bar at a glance, and on the right we see how much ammo we have left within the current mag for our equipped weapon. If you're comfortable doing a bit of script editing, you can easily edit it to display all sorts of relevant information from perk consumable recharge level to detection risk. Once this is more seamlessly implemented, I think we'll be looking at a staple of the visual hood genre. Taking a quick glance at the planned features, I'm holding out hope that this will absolutely be the case. For now, it's still a must try out for fans of the Half-Life series though. And if you wanted to just try out the awesome animated crosshair, that's available separately on Off Your Rocket's crosshair pack. Falling into a similar category of hood mod, we have the BL2 hood, which is of course designed in the style of Borderlands 2. There's something about this hood which I just love. I'm a huge fan of the Borderlands colour scheme and font, which has been tremendously implemented here. Even with its pretty limited options menu giving us minimal customization, I adore the base feel of this hood. In particular, the little stylized icons for throwables and ammo types really stand out. It's also a numerical and shape based hood, which means just like in Borderlands, we're going to be seeing slightly more precise armor and health figures in game, as opposed to those disembodied bars. This can give you some pretty tangible benefits when it comes to calculating things like one shot kill thresholds and berserker multipliers. Sadly, it isn't quite as complete an overhaul as I would like at times. I wish all information was presented in this wonderful stylized fashion, but switching to the menus and seeing vanilla interactions can be a little jarring. Even so, one thing is for sure, it's a stylish hood mod with a great base premise. The teammate name functionality and way the perk deck of choices displayed in their title is great. Unfortunately, we're lucky enough to even have access to this HUD thanks to a much needed 2021 fix, which means the base project is no longer being updated, so don't expect any sweeping changes in the near future. In any case, don't count this one out without giving it a try. I thought to juxtapose those two purely visual HUDs, I'd offer you Hollow UI next, probably the most comprehensively customizable HUD mod available. This is a fully integrated visual overhaul, which is standardized across all in-game menus, as well as the HUD itself. Where it really stands out is in the insane detail of its options menu. These range from hood opacity to in-menu font size, making this as complete as visual UI customization gets. The location and color of every information box is entirely up to you, not to mention how easy it is to do this with little practice. Whilst it's daunting at first, you can edit most options whilst in a heist, with live changes allowing you to customize on the fly. Not to mention, the mod author makes it even easier for you with the quick options for color schemes. If you want to tailor every element of the hood to your liking, this is perfect, but it's not quite as ideal if you just want a pick up and use hood. Don't get me wrong, the default settings are very usable, but it's far from the best looking hood straight out of the box. It's slick, modern and clean, but lacks charm outside of its sweet interaction indicators. Personally, I'm also not much of a fan of how your heister information is initially presented, which is why I'd look to augment this hood with additional UI edits, pretty much as its intended use as a tremendously multi-compatible mod. Yes, it has a few non-vanilla features, but at its core it's a canvas for you to create your own perfect looking payday too. You won't be able to edit things to the sort of complex level we've seen with the homage hoods, but you sure as hell can make the games feel your own. If I was looking to create one hood combo I'd use throughout the remaining life cycle of Payday 2, I'd absolutely make sure Hollow UI was a part of that somewhere. If you feel like you need more value out of your UI in Payday 2, info hoods are the better way to go. They are generally some of the most complete hood modifications which can be used as standalone hood overhauls or alongside some of the more compatible visual hoods to create a blend of style and substance. First up to cover in this category, we've got an info hood that isn't amongst the most iconic or recognizable. 
The reason why I feature it here though is because the creator is an incredibly talented modder who continues to work in and around the diesel modding scene, thus has created a very stable and well-maintained hood. A perfect gateway for those of you on the fence. Many of you should already know how much respect I have for Hopip's Payday mods, so the Hop Hood comes as an info hood I'm happy to endorse. This one's going to need an extra mod to function in the form of Hoplib, but once you get past that, it's simple and sleek. Whilst it can be customized, the options menu is not overwhelming, and the features it offers are intentionally simple to maintain an improved vanilla feel. That means no cop health bars all over the place, no timer icons, and basic kill counters. It's incredibly clean in how it displays all that additional information, another example being found in the blue invulnerability timer for Anarchist and Armor, which should simply exist like this in the base game. Ever since I found the option in TF2, I have been an unbelievable sucker for damage numbers and FPSs, but it can be too much, which is why I love the simplification options with Hop Hood to tidy things up and keep Payday looking like a classic heisting game, as opposed to an MMO. This is the perfect info hood for you if you're just looking to dip your toe into hood modification without a wild visual overhaul. Up next we have Wolf Hood, a classic which has always been my go-to over the years after Hawk's Hood went dark. You should absolutely be familiar with this hood if you've been around this channel for any length of time. In fact, if you've ever asked what hood is that on a video before, it was probably Wolf Hood. Like many of these more fully featured info hoods, Wolf Hood is really a compilation pack of the best hood add-ons and plugins to enhance your payday experience. It even comes bundled with the Federal Inventory mod, which is an excellent menu overhaul unrelated to the in-heist UI. As a long-term Wolf Hood enjoyer, it would be fair to say it's very tangibly enhanced my time with the game. But sadly, a few months ago, that all came to an end. The number display bug was all just too much, doubling everything from enemy health to player kill count, meaning I personally moved away from Wolfhood after years relying on it. However, I'm happy to inform you that although the original mod is now struggling with stability issues and visual bugs, a fork off that original code, Vanilla Hood Plus, offers a purely enhanced experience. It comes in a vanilla format with predominantly information enhancements or in its classic Wolfhood look. Honestly, if I tried to run you through all the features on display here, it would take up at least the entire video. It absolutely conveys a more tangible benefit to the player in my opinion than most other HUDs on the market. And once you've wrapped your head around what are fairly messy but incredibly complete menus, you'll be able to tailor every function to your liking in game. So many of these are either immensely convenient, like the instant restart, immensely interesting, like the ongoing accuracy stat plugin, or immensely helpful in your gameplay, as with the numerical suspicion meter. You can end up with a fairly messy screen if you want it all going at the same time, but once you're able to process this information quickly with practice, you'll likely be a better player for it. It even has some extra features over Wolf Hood, dropping federal inventory to add a fast.net matchmaker and empty multiplayer lobby function that should really exist in the base game. I also love that this mod provides tailored compatibility settings for every other hood on the market, showing some serious commitment to making it a part of all of the best hood setups out there. Basically, if you want an enhanced version of Wolf Hood with massively improved compatibility and stability options, look no further. In fact, outside of putting in tremendous effort by combining hood styles and functions, I don't think it gets much better than this in a single package. Of course, Sydney Hood, next up for appraisal, does all it can to offer an even more complete package, but just like the character it's named after, it won't appeal to everyone. This hood is remarkably similar to Vanilla Hood Plus and Wolf Hood before it, with its identical UI elements and basic range of features, only really differing in visual style and feel. Personally, I'd rather use Vanilla Hood Plus, which gives you the choice of either the Vanilla or Wolf Hood styles on the fly. Sydney Hood is also missing some notably fun features such as the in-heist accuracy gauge, which is probably indicative of trying to refine the information overload problem of its predecessors, but to me at least, it's not a worthwhile trade-off. That doesn't mean it's just a copycat bringing nothing new to the table though. Sydney Hood has far cleaner menu presentation, making them much easier to navigate without an instruction manual. The settings it offers aren't quite as customizable as a result, but it does lead to this mod being slightly more accessible from the get-go. It also offers some really useful optimization tweaks for those of you without Apex Gaming PCs. I'd much rather not play with Block Corp spawns and the like, because it takes a fair bit of satisfaction out of the gameplay for me, but I still see the value in the feature. Overall, Sydney Hood is what Sydney is to Wolf. Younger, prettier, stuck around longer, but at the same time, it's that bit more basic making it a hard sell when Vanilla Hood Plus is still on the market. 
Now I do believe we've already looked at the most comprehensive UI mod, but Poco Hood, another of the Payday Hood giants of old, may still take the cake when it comes to complete packages in the category. First of all, I want to say how great it is that Dom's taken over and is maintaining Poco Hood after Payday went back into development. Honestly, it's an insanely detailed and complete mod which has very evidently been developed over many years by an incredibly talented team. Install it, press the back key to open the options, and prepare to be in awe of it all. The sheer quality of hidden information this mod offers is mind-blowing. It may not have the depths of customization other HUDs boast, but Poco nails its own style so that hardly matters. As I hinted at, this is not only going to improve your in-game experience with all the functionality of top-tier info HUDs like Vanilla HUD Plus, it'll also help you out before you head into a heist, giving you information such as how long you spent on the heist previously and detailed numerical build information. It also has great jukebox functionality, which is huge when music is such a massive part of the payday experience. I'd be here all day if I mentioned everything, but there are larger changes such as the cleaned up crime net and more minor additions such as the return of location text, which I love. In terms of the visual design of this HUD, it aims to be a little more competitive and minimalist, freeing up lots of screen space in its layout, which some will really like. For me, as a result of this design choice, there's a lot of information packed into a fairly small space, so I find it to be a bit of a strain on the old eyes. But again, it's incredibly clean and professional looking. Things like the small circular health bar for enemies is much more in keeping with the visual design of the overall game, so whilst it isn't perfect for me, many will absolutely love it. Remember, if you want the full Poco experience, you're going to want to download the additional trackers mod alongside it. These are really useful when tracking build functions on the fly, and I find them to be clearer than the ones used by Old Wolf Hood. This hood is almost there. I do believe Vanilla Hood is still marginally the best hood in terms of gameplay assistance, but it's damn top tier at just about everything else. If you want to know the real reason I personally don't use Poco Hood all the time, in spite of all these amazing positives, well, the damage numbers don't work with Greys, which is the single most satisfying feeling if procced when using something like Wolf Hood. Yes, I am that petty. The last hood we'll be taking a look at in this video is Void UI. Whilst I would still categorize it as an information hood, it's much more of a combination of that and a visual hood. If I were to guess, I'd say people use Void UI for its quite exceptional visual design, which you have access to immediately upon install. I'm also imagining many people like to use it for its fantastic scoreboard feature, which keeps an accurate kill tally for each teammate, whilst also displaying the loadout they're using to slay so damn hard. These features really help Void UI to stand out. I'd say it's one of the best pick up and play hoods on offer. It does have fairly comprehensive customization tools, but you're unlikely to want to change much after seeing how it's designed. I love the base color scheme and sharp aesthetic the creators went for here, not to mention it's great that this is another UI which approaches things like highs to health in a more numerically precise fashion. Presentation really is its strong suit even down to the slick loading and menu screen transitions. Sadly, from my perspective at least, it lacks that full suite of features we've seen from the likes of Vanilla Hood and Poco Hood. In particular, I feel we're really missing damage numbers. Fortunately, there's a simple extension mod which converts a bunch of Wolf Hood features over, making it a more complete information hood overall. I don't think it's as comprehensive as some of the mods on this list, but if Payday 3's UI looked exactly like this on launch, I'm not sure I'd bat an eyelid, which is pretty huge praise and shows how well suited it is for a heisting game in 2021. Going beyond the full hood mods, I do believe it's worth taking a look at some standalone hood additions, which can either be used as augmentations or standalone improvements. I've chosen four of my favourites to showcase here, but remember, you can often find major hood features in a standalone format, for instance the brilliant and unique Void UI scoreboard, so you can pick out whatever elements you like the look of from this video with a fair bit of freedom. Up first though, for suggested hood add-ons, we have the quite phenomenal chat translator. Truly, this is an incredible function which should be built into more games as standard. Finally, communication with most of the very international Payday 2 player base is possible. This simple mod makes it so you can auto-translate non-native language messages into a language of your choice at the simple click of a mouse. Not only that, it's also possible to send pre-translated messages in the language of your choice with this mod. Just type TL before your message and a language code, which is essentially the first two letters of the language, and your message will be automatically sent in that language. Don't expect native level translations, but for getting simple concepts across, this mod is a godsend. I am beyond impressed. It's also compatible with six of the HUD mods I've showcased today. Sadly, some of the non-Roman character-driven languages still seem to be missing, but the sheer scope of what you can get done with this mod is just brilliant. 
and must download unless you adore a non-compatible HUD partner. Next, we have the Better Assault Indicator. This is another mod I've covered on the channel before, so won't be lingering on it for long today, but it's definitely one of my top recommendations for touching up Payday 2's UI design. This is a mod that comes standard with a few of the HUDs showcased here, and has really become the gold standard for information provision in a mod. It's ridiculously compatible even with the most obscure HUDs not mentioned in this video, and truly makes a tangible difference to how you approach gameplay when it's enabled. The Armor Break and Vulnerability Effect mod is another which is conceptually similar to some in-HUD features. HopHUD's blue health bar timer is doing the exact same thing, just in a slightly more subtle interface fashion. This invulnerability effect will prompt the edges of your screen to flash in a color of your choice to remind you of the exact duration for which you cannot be harmed. This is seriously useful for Armor and Anarchist players, two of the better perk decks in the game. Until you have the 2 second timing down, this mod is well worth running. Last, but by no means least, we have Advanced Crosshairs, Hit Sounds and Hit Markets, another interface impacting mod which more people should try out. As we saw with Hevhood, the addition of a proper crosshair in Payday 2 is quite refreshing from a gameplay perspective, and these are some of the best and most customizable in the business. Additionally, you're going to want the Color Picker mod installed so that you can edit the color of things like your hit marker and crosshair color as you hover over different objects. The bloom effects on the crosshair are brilliant, I love the more accurate hit marker styles and location procs, as well as the many options that allow us to convey different information quickly depending on where your shots are landing and what sort of damage you're dealing, be it regular, crit or fatal. This is just a brilliant way to convey that information immersively. Not to mention there are extension packs for this framework which allow you to use even more advanced and interesting crosshairs. Hit sound wise, it's not my absolute favourite feature as Payday 2 already has a phenomenal sound setup, adding more dings to it is not a great way to enjoy the iconic soundtrack. Even so, being able to choose between Overwatch, TF2 and Quake 3 hit sound effects is brilliant and fairly nostalgic for me, meaning I mess around with this from time to time. Overall, I strongly recommend you try this pack and its extensions out as it brings some pretty satisfying but also worthwhile features that change up gameplay more than you might initially assume. With that said, I believe I've given you the complete array of Payday 2 HUD modding options. I've generally tried to only cover well-maintained mods, so do keep that in mind if you thought I missed something obvious. But if you do still have a HUD you'd like to share with me and others watching this video, drop it down in the comments below. In terms of how I'd rank these mods, of course there's an awful lot of subjectivity here. It's all about personal preference, but if I was to throw out some leaders for certain categories, the easiest to use out of the box is probably Hop Hood, the most compatible is likely Hollow UI, the most stylish is, in my biased opinion, the Hotline Miami Hood, the most featured is Poco Hood, and the best conveyor of information is Vanilla Hood Plus or Old Wolf Hood if you can stand its increasing array of bugs. Personally, I'm going to be running Vanilla Hood and Poco Hood for the foreseeable future just to work out which is my true favourite, but if I see a desire for it I'd be happy to follow this up with my ideal hood settings using some info and aesthetic hood combinations to create my UI masterpiece and perfect Payday 2 experience. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it was helpful and from now on if you ever see someone ask what hood does he use, please point them in this direction. As ever, thank you very much to my mean infamy patrons and above. If you want to join that infamous club to see yourself in the credits or get early exclusive access to my videos, including the story videos, check out my Patreon link below. Remember that Discord is open to all if you crave some more payday discussion. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you all very soon for the next one.